Welcome back to Jebri's Gibberish, and this is the second video in the UHF CB radio series. Today, we're going to be looking at repeaters, duplex, and simplex, and why it's important for you to know about them, even if you're never going to use them. Well, this video is going to be all about UHF CB repeaters but we're also gonna give you another chance to win this Uniden radio. It's an 80 channel remote head UHF CB. All of the controls are on the microphone. We'll tell you how you can enter this competition later on in the video. All right, so what even are UHF CB repeaters and why do we have them? Well, in order to find that out, we need to go back in time to 1977 when UHF CB first entered Australia. Now, prior to 1977, we still had CB radios, but it was the older 27 megahertz style. And that was on the HF band, which is the high frequency band, around about 27, 28 megahertz. Now, this was a great band and it's still used, it's still legal to use in Australia, and it's still used in other parts of the country, especially in the United States. 27 megahertz CBs were excellent because they had quite a long range. In fact, in the right conditions, you could easily talk interstate from your car to another person in another car or another state using a radio transmission style called skip, where you bounce off the ionosphere in the right weather conditions. Of course, this created some downsides too because we would have other people like Indonesian fishermen up north using 27 megahertz CBs to talk between their boats. And that would then bounce all the way back down to Australia and cause interference on our CB channels where we didn't want to be hearing them. Lower frequencies like the HF band are also prone to interference and noise. So in your car, especially in a modern car, fuel injectors, spark plugs, alternators, fans, all these types of electrical equipment could cause interference and noise on your CB radio, which can become quite annoying while you're just driving around. So in Australia, they designated some frequencies between 477 and 478 megahertz. So that's all the way down from HF band up through the very high frequency, the VHF band, where your marine radio and your airplanes and all that sort of stuff are, right up into the UHF band, which is the ultra high frequency band. Now UHF offers a lot of advantages over HF as far as the quality of your communication goes. The audio is better because it's FM and not AM or sideband. It's also far less prone to interference from noisy electrical appliances and power lines and all that sort of stuff. It's very rare when you've got your UHF CB on that you'll have interference breaking through the squelch being really annoying. Generally, if you're hearing something break through and causing noise on the UHF radio, it's just another station that's a little bit weaker and further away, just out of range. And of course, because the distance of UHF CB is much shorter, only a few kilometers, generally speaking, it means that you don't get interference from people that are far away. So if you're just using it for convoys or on the highway, it's excellent because as soon as somebody's driven past and heads a few kilometers down the road, they can keep chatting away to whoever they want to and they're not breaking through on your CB and causing you to have all of this noise and interference. Of course, that brings us to the greatest downside of the UHF CB2, and that's the fact that it's got very, very limited range. And that's why when they introduced the band plan or the plan for all of the channels for the UHF CBs, they included a whole set of frequencies or channels for UHF repeaters. Now, normally when we're talking to somebody, especially on the road on a UHF CB, we're using a mode called simplex. And simplex is where we're simply transmitting on one channel or one frequency, and the person at the other end is receiving the signal on that same frequency or channel. We're able to communicate backwards and forwards just by using that same channel. Channel 40 on UHF CB is a great example of this, and that's what they call the highway channel or sometimes referred to as the truckies channel. If you're on the road, it's always a really good idea to just leave your CB on channel 40, although if you've got kids in the car, you need to watch out for some of the language. Now with channel 40, when you transmit, you transmit on channel 40 and you also receive on channel 40. And that's exactly what simplex is. In duplex, you're transmitting on one channel and you're receiving on a different channel. Now you don't really see this on the radio, but we can show you a demonstration of that here. If I set this radio into duplex and transmit on channel one, it's going to automatically transmit on channel 31. You see, the UHF channels work through one to eight for repeaters and now on the 80 channel system, 41 to 48. And what happens is the radio actually jumps up 
to channel 31, or if you're on channel 2, channel 32, or if you're on channel 3, channel 33, to transmit. And somewhere around, there'll be a repeater listening on those frequencies. And it's got basically two radios stacked on top of each other, one listening on a repeater input channel, say 31, and it retransmits on channel 1. So if you're transmitting on channel 1 in duplex mode, the repeater is going to receive on channel 31. That's where it's going to be listening with one of its radios. It's then going to input that transmission into the second radio and retransmit that out back on channel one. So on your radio, it's set to channel one and you don't know any different. You think that it's all happening by magic, but what's really happening is this radio up on a hill somewhere far away is receiving this radio transmission and retransmitting it on a second radio back on the channel that you're listening to. Now, of course, what this means is that if you were to go and find a nice quiet channel to talk to your mates on while you're driving around in the bush, or even if you're in the city or wherever, if you pick channel 31 to 38, you're gonna find that you are now transmitting on the input channel for these repeaters. Now, the problem here is that you may not even know that you're doing this and your transmissions might actually be being received by a repeater somewhere and being retransmitted out at high power with very good strong antennas on top of big hills somewhere and spreading your entire conversation all over a massive land area. This can also be extremely frustrating for people that are actually trying to use the repeater because they're trying to talk to somebody far away and you keep interrupting their conversation completely oblivious to the fact that your transmission is now going all over the place. And a lot of people say, well, there's no repeater around where I live or, or I'm out in the middle of the bush somewhere, so it doesn't matter if I use one of those channels. Well, that's where you might be wrong because under certain weather conditions, you can get ducting or tunneling. And that's where a transmission on a UHF CV can actually get transmitted a lot further than you would think. A little bit like the skip we were talking about with the 27 megahertz CVs, but just kind of a different way of happening. But I've been in Bustleton and spoken to people in Geraldton using ducting on a UHF CV. So it's definitely something that you need to be aware of. You might be far, far away from a repeater that's on the frequency that you're talking on, but that doesn't mean that it's not picking you up and retransmitting you across an entire large landmass. So the key points to remember are channel one through eight, out of bounds. Channel 31 to 38, out of bounds. Don't use those unless you are trying to talk on a repeater. Same with 41 to 48 on an 80 channel CV and 71 to 78. Those are all input and transmit frequencies for UHF CV repeaters. Just stay away from those because that's gonna cause all sorts of problems. All right, let's just take a quick break and I'll tell you how you can enter to win this UHF Uniden CV radio. In every video in the UHF CV series, there's going to be an entry code sometime through the video. And in this video, the entry code is repeater. Now, all you need to do is go to the link below to my website where the entry form is, fill in your details and put the entry code in. While you're at it, subscribe to our Facebook and Instagram because we're gonna be putting bonus entry codes on there as well. And remember, if you're a Patreon, you're gonna get an extra entry code every time we put up one of the early access videos. It'll be in the description on the Patreon video. Every time you get a new entry code, you can put in another entry to get more chances to win. And while we're mentioning it, definitely, definitely, definitely keep away from channel five and channel 35. That is the designated emergency channel and there are big fines if you start transmitting on either of those channels if it's not an emergency, especially if you're interrupting a conversation, even if you don't know it, where an emergency is taking place. The other thing is that we have volunteers listening to those channels and they don't wanna hear your conversation about when you're stopping at Coles or when the kids in the car need to stop for a week. So please stay away, especially from 5 and 35. But keep away from all of those repeater channels. There's plenty to choose from. And in an upcoming video, I'll tell you how you can even filter out more conversations and create more sub-channels so that you can talk to your mates without being interrupted. So there you go, that's UHF CV, Simplex and Duplex. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever been talking on a repeater and you've had people on the input channels annoying the heck out of you. Or let us know if you're struggling to work out how to put your radio in or out of duplex mode, and I'll see if I can give you a hand. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe, and please comment down below. It really helps us out on the channel here. We'll be creating a heap more videos in the UHF CV series to tell you all about things like CTCSS and DCS, cell call, 
and all that stuff that you've probably got on your radio that you've never really understood and never used. But with all that said, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.